Paul Buckle then, pre South End away. Paul, is there anything you know now that you didn't know at say ten past five on Saturday straight after the game? Uh, I think always on the Monday, you know, reflection, you can watch the game back, look at things, and yeah, I was. I think I got it right after the game uh, in terms of where we let ourselves down. Um, but certainly looking at a positive, which we've got to do now ahead of the game, uh, I thought we really did cause a good team a lot of problems second half. You know, and it, we, we, we could have got a second goal, we got really close to that. And that's what I want to sort of lean on now with the players and say to the players, look, you know, we've, we've done well against some really good sides this season, certainly in the 11 league games that uh, we've been here. So um, I'd rather look at the positives rather than the negatives. And how difficult a job is it to drum that into the players of, look, second half after they got the third you know you hung in there and take from that because obviously you've got to build on that haven't you yeah you have because the worry always especially against a very good team is that you know you can you can go under you know three goals down at home but we didn't we showed loads of fight and character and um you know i was delighted with, with with the way we performed you know after going three nil down so second half it was great what we've got to do now is build on that we're going to another difficult place, another team that's looking for promotion. But we've got to uh, we've got to take the positives out of uh, out of Saturday and actually this morning look at you know when we've done well in games, you know, why we've done well, how we've done well, and why we've done well. That's what we've got to look at. But the players at a stage where you can't hammer them as perhaps you know you might if you were you know in a better position in the table. Oh yeah, I don't know if, if hammers the, the the right thing to do anyway. I think you've got to trust the players you've got to trust and I do trust the players um, I think the work work rate's been there I think we've I've not forward on that um, I think again it's just it's just cutting out poor errors it's cut you know it's been switched on for 90 minutes and you know I think now we have got enough firepower in the team I think we've got enough attacking pro us now to go forward and have parts in the game where we can put the opposition on the back foot and I think that's important you know I, I don't think we've been under the cosh uh, in too many games, I don't think we've even even Saturday against Burton, you know, for 20 minutes, we're not just not having to make save after save, or, or you know, uh, you think we're in trouble here. We just seem to switch off, and we've got, to, you know, we've got to we've got to push each other along now. You know, it's time to be strong. It's a time now to 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 try and do our best to stay out the bottom two. That's what we're we're focusing on today, and you know, we're going to be positive and go try and go for the win as always at Southend. How? easy is it or how quickly can you put right those defensive problems of the moments when players switch off is it the sort of thing you can sort quickly well we've been we've been trying and we've been close we've been close in games to clean sheets we've we've gone close i mean i know the last two games we've, we've conceded goals but we have gone close this season i think it's about it's about refocusing now we've got to refocus what's gone's gone in the past we've got a lot of new players that have come to the club um, we're still knitting them together and i think you saw signs second half especially second half, um, but you know, we, we're looking stronger, we're looking a better side. From one tough team to another tough team, you know, South End away isn't any easier than Burton at home, is it? No, it's not <laughs> at all, it's a difficult game, um, but it's one we're looking forward to, I'm certainly looking forward to the game, and like I say, if if we'd have gone out with a whimper on Saturday, we would have been a little bit worried, but we haven't, we, we're still trying to improve things, we're still trying to you know, get that clean sheet that we want and get, get the wins that we need to keep us in the division and we go all out to do that. This, you know, we can't affect what's gone before us. We, we can't do that. What we can do now is say, look, we've got some new faces in, some new bodies at the, you know, the end of last week and we saw some really good signs this weekend and, and you know, I think there's, there's a freshness about the place and I think that we've got to be positive and we've got to go, go all out to try and get the wins that we need. And if you can get something from this game, what could that do for morale going forwards well, it's massive you know you're trying to get a winning mentality a winning culture and um, you know it comes from positive results that's for sure and if we can get a win I'm sure it'll kick us on you know it, the boys have certainly given enough effort um, so it'll have to be the same again on, on the Tuesday night and you know if we do get the win I'm sure we can kick on Jake Gray obviously coming up to the last game of his initial month any thoughts of where you might go with that well I certainly liked him when he came on I think Jake gives us something. You know, you want to see wingers attacking people. I think you saw that with Burns. You saw that with um, Jake when he come on. You know, they're able to go past people. They're able to affect the game in a positive manner. And he's somebody that I really like. So yeah, I'm, I, hopefully we can continue that. But you know, we'll look at tomorrow night's game and then we'll, we'll make a decision after. 
injuries, any problems there apart from Acer? <coughs> no, we're okay, which is good, it's a good sign. Um, boys are okay, I think we've just got to pick ourselves up today, you know. No sorry faces, can't feel sorry for ourselves, pick ourselves up and, and do everything we can, like I said before, to, to stay out of bottom two. Thank you, Paul. Cheers. How much did you learn from the, 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 sort of the four new, five new players that started to Saturday back there again? Well, I think it was quite difficult for the, for the boys first half, you know, because there was nothing in the game on 20 minutes and then they score a very good goal, which sort of gives them control, so to speak. So, yeah, I saw enough things from all of the players that I liked. I mean, obviously, Burns' goal stands out more than anything, but um, I thought Richards did well when he came on. I thought, and you know, what I mean by that is he linked up very well with Denny, and they're all very new to each other. All the players are very new to each other, and it's going to take a little bit of time to get them to function completely for 90 minutes, but I saw enough in the game that I liked, and we'll try and work on that again this morning. Is Elliot put himself in the line for a for a start, you said he couldn't do the, the full 19 nor could Matthews, but it's a, it's a case of maybe shuffling those two around. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I mean, they've both not had an awful lot of football, but it is very difficult to pick up players now in January, um, you know, January, February, that have been playing week in, week out. So, Denny has been. I think it would have done Elliot and Matthew Lancet no harm at all to get 45 minutes under their belt. We'll train again this morning and we'll make our mind up on, on which one starts or which one comes on from the bench. Constitutes sort of progress from Saturday for you in terms of result and performance. What oh, sorry? What would, what would be a pro? What would be progress leaving Saturday? What, what, what would you want a to win. take? A win, a win, a win, James. Definitely a win. Uh, you know, this is what we we're working hard at the training ground. We're working hard by bringing new players in to try and get the wins that we need. You know, we know they've been few and far between all season. So it's some trying to turn the ship in the right direction has uh, has proved difficult. But we're certainly not. Uh, finished yet by any means, we've only just started. Do, do you think that maybe needs to happen for the spirit just so that people don't get too deflated yeah. entirely all around the club fans? Yeah, it's look, it's a difficult time, it's a difficult time at the moment, but what it, what it needs is strong leadership, it needs belief, and it, you know, there's two teams going into the game tomorrow night, and we've, we've shown enough, we've shown enough since I've been here to tell me we can go and get a win. So, Cheers, Paul.